ശ്രീഗുരുഭ്യോ നമ ഹരി ഓം ഓം അഖണ്ഡാനന്ദസംബോധ വന്ദനാത്യസ്യജായത്തെ ഗോവിന്ദം തമഹം വന്ദേ ചിദാനന്ദതണും ഗുരും സോ യെസ്റ്റർഡേ വി വെർ സീങ് ഐഹിക ആമുഷ്മിക അർത്ഥേഷു ഹി അനിത്യത്വേന നിശ്ചയാത് നൈസ്പൃഹ്യം തുച്ഛബുദ്ധിയാ തത് യത് തത് വൈരാഗ്യം ഇതി ഈർജ്യത്തെ വാട്ട് എവർ ദട്ട് ഇസ് ദട്ട് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് അസ് വൈരാഗ്യ വാട്ട് ഇസ് വൈരാഗ്യ നൈസ്പൃഹ്യം ഡിസൈർലെസ്നെസ് ഡിസൈർലെസ്നെസ് ഫോർ വാട്ട് ഐഹിക ആമുഷ്മിക്കാർച്ച പദ പദാർത്ഥേഷു അർത്ഥേഷു ഓഫ് തിങ്സ് ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ആഫ്റ്റർ വാട്ട് എവർ ദേർ ആർ ദി ഓബ്ജെക്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ഹിയർ ആഫ്റ്റർ വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ഫൈൻഡ് വിത്ത് ദോസ് ഓബ്ജെക്ട് ദി ഡിസൈർലെസ്നെസ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് അസ് വൈരാഗ്യ ആൻഡ് ഹൗ ഡു യു ഗെയിൻ ദാറ്റ് തുച്ഛബുദ്ധ്യ വിത്ത് ദി ഐഡിയ ദാറ്റ് ദേ ആർ യൂസ്ലെസ് ദേ ആർ ഓഫ് നോ യൂസ് തുച്ഛബുദ്ധി ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദി കീ വേർഡ് ഓക്കെ നൗ വിത്ത് റെഫറൻസ് ടു ദാറ്റ് ദെർ ഇസ് വൺ തിങ് തുച്ഛബുദ്ധി വെൻ വി എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദിസ് there was a question regarding this does this speak about para vairagya in vedanta we call para vairagya etc para vairagya is superior vairagya apara vairagya means inferior vairagya is it talking about para vairagya don't be bluffed by those kind of words okay those don't be fooled by those kind of words because they are all just words we are talking about vairagya for the sadhaka for the adhikari it's a prerequisite for the brahma jnana for you to gain the knowledge of this self there is only one kind of vairagya there are not many kinds of vairagya remember that there is only one vairagya like i normally say whether you are an idiot or a intelligent person there is no in between no there is no in between either this or that so but still when we started asking this question is it para vairagya then we may have this doubt oh that means if this is superior vairagya that means there are some vairagyas which can be called as inferior right what are those without getting rid of doubts you cannot be established in knowledge so we will remove this doubt doubt also what is that vairagya what is is it one or multiple we don't see any reference really directly in vedanta with reference to this kind of vairagyas we only say you have to gain vairagya that's all the different qualities of vairagya we don't accept or we don't explain about that but yoga sutra kara he explains about this vairagya in yoga sutra they start abhyasa vairagya abhyam tan nirodha by abhyasa and vairagya tad tad means mind nirodha is control the mind is control by abhyasa practice and vairagya this passion with regard to that vairagya word we will not work, worry about the practice we will worry about the vairagya but with regard to that vairagya word he goes on to explain there are different levels of vairagya more than in the sutra the bhashya commentary written by patanjali not bhagavan bhashyakara patanjali there that patanjali uh, maharishi is bhashya explains this vairagyas so the first among them is uh, yatamana first vairagya yatamana yatamana means uh, yata prayatne is the root word to put effort he is just putting effort he is it's it it may not it cannot even be qualified to be called as vairagya but it is a par, kind of vairagya so we will accept that vairagya yatamana in uh, in shastra we may not see different uh, levels of yatamana different examples for yatamana but in world we can see different examples for yatamana everyone has experienced this first vairagya of yatamana called smashana vairagya smashana means a crematorium or burial ground smashana karma smashana normally is crematorium but it can refer to burial ground also does not really matter so now when somebody is dead 
let us suppose you are going to that house and in that house they have the body and all that it is very beautifully encapsulated by this saint poet called tirumular he says ooralam kooti olika aludittu perinai neeki pinamendru perittu சூரியன் காட்டிடை கொண்டு போய் சுட்டுட்டு நீரில் மூழ்கி நினை பொழி தனரை ஐ கிவ் யூ த ஐடியா ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் யூ ஹாவ் தி டெட் பர்சன் பீப்புள் வில் கம் அண்ட் பீஸ் ஓ ஹீ இஸ் சச் அ கிரேட் பர்சன் இஸ் அ வெரி குட் மேன் ரைட் வெரி பயாஸ் மேன் வெரி ஹோலி பர்சன் எஸ்டர்டே ஆல்சோ ஐ ஸ்போக் வித் ஹம் சி what a transient world this is he was yesterday and today he is no more this is what life is very 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 uh, feeble you know it, there is no there is no there is no permanency here it's impermanent all these ideas we will talk about and when he comes in the house or she comes into the house of the dead body they will be crying oh you go you and oh, why did you go such so early why did this god did all this all this earlier in uh, india we had this group of people even other ways other places also i i think uh, we had this group of people who are invited to cry for that house they they come and cry or sing songs with a, a sorrow uh, tune to it okay so anyway this after this they will take the body i didn't see the person i didn't give the name of the person whatever the name of the person they they never they ask when are they planning to take the body remove the body take it to the crematorium now he was a mr x mr y etc or miss x mr whatever that is that from mr x he became body they will refer to him as body not with name when are they going to take mr x to crematorium no when are they going, going to take the body to the crematorium that's the question after that they go and burn the body okay next step is important step they take a dip in shastra it is said if you go to a place where, where there is a dead body if you go to crematorium or a burial ground you have to come to your home and take bath along with your dress you wear you have to wash your dress also sachailam snanam acharayet that's the term with, with which it is said this statement is sachailam sachailam means with along with the dress snanam acharayet snanam means take bath acharayet practice do per take bath along with your dress you wear that is why in south india you can see when you go to a dead body that uh, that uh, a uh, place where somebody is dead uh, after coming back they will have a bucket full of water with turmeric they just uh, sprinkle it on their head and hand and uh, feet and then go to their house and take bath that is a natural thing see it's a very beautiful thing if scientifically if you want to see there are uh, enough reasons because uh, turmeric is a very beautiful uh, good uh, antibiotic and all that so all that examples we can say but this is what you have to do you have to take bath okay and uh, even in north india they don't uh, south india no not many people know about even this, this but north india they practice it but still there are people who don't understand this sir if you go to a person a dead person's house when you come to you should not go to temple you have to take bath if it is not your close relative for close relative very close relative from the man side patriarch with this so man side 10 days from in the mother side if, uh, so 10 days also very rarely actually so 3 days is the maximum period i have seen so <clears throat> thing is uh, after uh, if you are staying in the house where the dead person lived uh, if you belong to that house or if you go to that house for 13 days in different uh, sects they have different uh, beliefs but brahmins normally they follow 13 days so 13 days for that 13 days if you are outsider you are going to that house to enquire about uh, you know sorrow enquiring they say something like that 
So to inquire about the dead, you have to come back and take bath if it is in that 13 days. Otherwise, no. Okay. So that person who is in that house cannot go to temple for the next 13 days. Should not enter a temple for next 13 days. If you go to that person's house, you have to take bath before coming to the temple. This is all rules. This is why I started the other channel and I explain all this in that channel. Anyway, that is for, for that channel. Now, the idea is here. Smashana Vairagya. So, these people talk about everything and once they take a bath, why do you want to take talk about the bath? So, once you take bath and in a river, if you take, people who have taken bath in river, they know. Once after taking bath, dip in the river, you will start feeling hungry. I don't know what the reason is, sir. Scientific, if there is a reason, it's a possible reason. I don't even understand that. I don't know. But there is a reason. Once you take a dip in the river, you will feel hungry. You want to eat. They come and inquire about the eat. They will have a feast for that. So they will inquire about that. So they, are, they, they have now forgotten about the person who is dead. Now they are worried about themselves, their stomach, their hungry. And their hunger, right? So that is the first kind of vairagya, which we have all experienced. So that is why I have to say that. Second in order is uh, pravachana vairagya. We call it pravachana. Pravachana means a uh, discourse. When you hear some discourse, some lecture on spirituality, on Vedanta or in, on devotion or something like that, uh, then you will be so overwhelmed during the discourse. Oh, what an important thing. Vairagya, we need to gain vairagya, all that. Uh, once the discourse is over, once the lecture is over, then you go out, pat your back, remove all the dirt from your back, <laughs> go out, you forget whatever Airagya we have discussed here. That is the second type. So that also does not have a lot of shelf life. The third is a Prasava Vairagya. See, death Vairagya, Smashana Vairagya, everyone has experienced. Pravachana Vairagya, some of us have experienced. One who are interested in spiritual lectures, etc. Only they have experienced it. And less number of people, like the only the women, they have experienced this third kind of vairagya. It is called as prasava vairagya. Prasava vairagya. Prasava means uh, to give birth. So that labor, that is prasava. So the labor pain is the worst kind of pain anyone can experience, that it is said. So they say the man's heart is not strong enough to withstand that pain. Man's heart is... Our heart cannot withstand great amount of pain. You will have a heart attack and we will die. So, and that pain cannot be experienced by a man, they say. Anyway, so <clears throat> now, this Prasava Vairagya, so... She is undergoing that labor and the pangs and the pain and all that. And she is very clearly, it's not such a simple pain. There is a shloka in Sanskrit, it says, Vidvaneva Vijanati Vidvajana Parishrama Nahi Vandhya Janati Gurveen Prasavayadana Vidvaneva Vijanati Vidvajana Parishrama Only the Vidvan, only the learned one understands the troubles of the other learned one. A barren woman cannot understand the pain of uh, the labor. That's the idea of the shloka. Now, that is the kind of pain I am talking about. So, after that, experience that pain, after the few days of that pain, she, after, while experiencing, after experiencing, she will be very determined not to allow the man close to her. But once the man comes and uh, he speaks or uh, touches her, she forgets everything. So, that pain is gone. That vairagya is gone. So, that is the yatamana vairagya. Different examples for yatamana vairagya. That's all. Okay. So, yatamana vairagya is a small, minuscule vairagya for a very momentary period of time. It just evaporates even before you see that. Okay. So, second vairagya is yatamana vyatireka. Vyatireka. Vyatireka means to ward off. How do you ward off? Like, you should... Hold on to something strong to feel yourself stronger. Like you hold on to the feet of Ishvara, Guru. So that you understand, you feel you have the 
force behind you to take care of these people you, uh, uh, support is very important thing taking support of guru taking support of god is a very important thing people sometimes complain ha ah, i believe in god and all that why is why is he giving me so much of pain you idiot god didn't promise you to uh, ward off all the problems to you no but the prop the, the promises are to stand by you to uh, face any kind of problems to give you the strength to face any kind of problem that is what god and guru gives you okay that is important why why is it important because that strength also it's like like <coughs> in medicine before they they start uh, uh, selling the medicines to the public they put it for test how do they put it for test they select a group of people and then they separate them separate them into half and then they give some the medicine some not medicine something else even a sugar pill something that's called placebo effect some people who so they after that they will see how many people who were recovered after taking medicine and how many people who recovered after not taking medicine that also so everyone will be feeling i was given the doctor no i knows me very good so he gave me probably he gave me the right medicine probably that fellow was given only a placebo effect and because of that because of the feeling that he got the medicine he probably got cured that's a possibility also so that strength that strength which you the, the which give which is which which faith gives you which trust gives you that also is important that is very important actually there is a <coughs> discussion between a nastika and astika nastika normal in non worldly sense i am talking about theist and atheist because theist and atheist in the worldly sense means a person who believes in god and does not believe in god but according to the way the vedanta we have already discussed we said uh, a person who believes in the pramana of valid proof of vedas vedas as a valid proof he is astika theist and a person who does not believe that vedas are valid proofs is a nastika anyway in the world in the worldly sense a theist is a person who is a believer and the atheist is a non believer there is a atheist and a theist the atheist comes and tells the theist oh you are an idiot why do you believe in god there is no god actually how can there be god this creation came after big bang and all that and all that the theist very coolly says yes i do accept your logic there may not be any god it doesn't really matter if if there god there is no god and i believe in that god who is non existent is there any harm which is going to come to me no okay but if suppose let us say there is a god and you don't believe him what will be your case i believe if he doesn't exist there is no loss for me but you don't believe but if god exists really what will happen to you that is the kind of situation you will be put into so be with the strength of uh, something else uh, able to face this world that is called as vetireka okay the third one is called as ekendriya eka means uh, one indriya means sense organ one sense organ so we have 11 sense organs five sense organ of action five sense organ of knowledge and one sense organ which is mind according to yoga sutra mind is also sense organ according to vedanta some people accept it as sense organ some people don't okay now mind is a sense organ you have controlled all the other sense organ external sense organs you have controlled mind you have not controlled ek indriya only mind is remains to be, mind remains to be controlled so that is why it is called as ek indriya the fourth one is a bashikara bashikara means to bring it under your control you have brought the mind also under your control okay that's the fourth and that is the final vairagya and bashikara sanya vairagyam that is what yoga sutrakara says why why yoga sutrakara calls this para vairagya as bashikara sanya he gives it a name sanya means name he gives it a name bashikara okay so that vashikara sanya is that 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 name that name which is given to that vairagya is the superior stuff vairagya para vairagya okay and even there 
he divides it into three totally nine actually manda madhyama uttama dull mediocre and uh, superior instead of uttama he uses the word tivra but we know the manda madhyama uttama so we are using the same words okay so even in each of this category there are three sub categories manda 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 madhyama manda uttama dull 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 medium dull best medium dull medium 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 best best dull best medium best best uttama 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 manda uttama madhyama uttama uttama okay now he explains in another sutra oh, okay how who will gain uh, vairagya so all these people have the vashikara sanya vairagya right so then he says tivra samvega nam asannaha people who have tivra vairagya tivra tivra manda manda will gain the samadhi but it will take time for them tivra samvega people who have tivra vairagya they will get gain it immediately asanna means quick it's very close to them close uh, what is close to them samadhi labha samadhi is very close to them okay so that is why the vairagya which we talk about is the superiorest of vairagya there is no choice of vairagya here maybe while practicing we may have vairagya little better so we should have to grow it more but that is not vairagya which is going to be of use for parmagyana so we need to have complete vairagya that is what we are talking about here by saying tuchcha buddhya by seeing it as useless we will come to this useless word again so then his next shloka he says <clears throat> in i was saying in hindi in india at least in south india i've seen the death parade of brahmins and death parade of non brahmins you won't even know they will be doing some karma suddenly you you won't even know they have taken the body to the crematorium there is no sound silence everything is tick 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 over but in non brahmins uh, death one uh, there was one uh, on the ashtami day first day uh, close by there is a temple close by next to that temple there is a house in that house that some old lady had died since i don't know from the morning there was this sound tandra nakra tandra nakra tandra nakra tandra nakra if you google it if you go to youtube you will see south indian uh, death procession you will see there will be lot of uh, drums they were playing this drums from the morning i asked uh, this fellow who comes here what is this i to think that is there is a death there i didn't uh, enter there i see that there is a death okay so you will know and i i saw the death procession going from here to the close by there is a crematorium a burial ground also so they were taking it through this road so you will be able to see hear it the people going taking the body to the crematorium or anything but in brahmins no everything is very silent anyway next is nitya nitya padartha viveka nitya nitya padartha viveka purushasya jayate sadya srachandana manitado sarvatra anitya vastuni vyakti nitya anitya padartha viveka purushasya jayate sadya srachandana manitado sarvatra ಅನಿತ್ಯ ವಸ್ತುನಿ ವಿರಕ್ತಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ವಿವೇಕಾತ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈಚ್ ಒನ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ವಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾನ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಮೀನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ you are you are baking uh, something okay every now and then you are opening that uh, oven and then checking it is it cooked is it cooked then how will it cook you are not talking like that and it will not and if, if for every oh anitya anitya nitya anitya you are not going to go on testing each one of them we we gave you very simple logic to that atma nityam 
Anyat sarvam anityam iti buddhi. That is what is viveka. Atma is eternal. Everything else is non-eternal. Simple logic. There is no need for any, any other logic there. So, with this uh, viveka, veka, with this viveka, purusha se jayate sadhya. Immediately. Sadhya means immediately. Immediately the purusha gets, this person gets a, what? Virakti. Dispassion. Dispassion towards water, sarvatra anitya vastani, to all the eternal objects. Like water, srakchandana manitado. Srakchandana manitado. We will come to that. So, by having this discrimination, the clear discrimination of what is eternal and what is non-eternal, the moment he gains that clearly, then with that, uh, he immediately gains the dispassion over the things which are non-eternal. And they are like a, the example is given as a srak chandana manitadi. Srak means a garland. Chandana means a sandalwood. Sandal. Wood or paste, whatever. Paste. We will take this fragrance paste. And vanita means a woman. Okay. First, srak. Srak uh, means garland. Why will they put a garland to you? There, are, there is a garland which is going waste. So they throw it on you. No. You should be a person who is eligible for that garland. Garland is kind of mark of respect. Right. So you should be a person who deserves it. Otherwise, why will he put garland to you? If, it, if there is a garland which is going waste, he will put it on himself. Why should he put it on you? So... <laughs> if you have, if you deserve, how, how do you see if a per person deserves or not? The name for him, kind of person he is. So, that name is only for people who are special. <coughs> name. Okay. Sandal. Chandana. Sandal. Sandal is fragrance. You light a sandalwood uh, agarbatti or uh, put a sandalwood perfume or any perfume for that matter. What's that perfume? Very good perfume. Who wears it? We ask that question. Why? Because uh, that perfume is uh, reaching you from farther distance. Strong perfume. So, name, if, if uh, Sarag Garland means name, this is fake. Fame is like fragrance. It, it reaches to other places in other countries also. You are famous there. That is what we are talking about as a chandana. Sarag means name. It is limited to one area. Chandana means fame. It spreads to different places. Vanita means, vanita means woman. Okay. Vanita means object of enjoyment. What a shamanistic idea, object of enjoyment. That is a fact. We don't mean have to, we don't have to be woman lib and all that. We don't have to uh, coat it with sugary words. That's a fact. Man sees woman as a object of experience. And woman sees a man as an object of experience. Attraction. So that object of experience. Every object of experience for that one point is upalakshana, we call it. We just give one example. So, for name, you have garland. For fame, you have a sandal. And for objects, you have a woman or men, whatever. So, this is what is a name, fame, and with respect to all this name, what is name? Not everyone knows. See, your neighbor might not know who you are. We are not even talking about secret service. Your neighbor even may not know. He is working in something I don't know. He may not even know your name actually. So your name is not that famous. Your fame, oh, that will not be. Uh, the, the vegetable uh, vendor will not even remember your uh, name and fame. Yo, you can say, I... I am a CEO of that kind of company, this kind of company. No. Not everyone knows who is he, uh, this fellow and that fellow and all that. 
So name, fame, and object of experience. You see so many things, sir. But you are not attracted to everything. Things which you are attracted to, not other people are, not many other people are attracted to, maybe. So these kind of uh, things are there. So we are just generalizing it, uh, name, fame, and the uh, object of experience. Simple. So we give example to it. With respect to all this, virakti immediately. Sadhya virakti. Immediately you gain discrimination. Dispassion actually. If you have this discrimination, you will have this dispassion. How good it is, right? So that is the kind of dispassion we are talking about. Clear. There should be no doubt regarding any of this. They are all limited, right? So next he says, Kakasya. Kakasya vishtavat asakshya buddhi bhogyeshu sativra virakti rishyate virakti tivra nidanam ahuhu bhogyeshu dosha ikshanam eva santaha. Kakasya vishtavat asakshya buddhi bhogyeshu sa tivra virakti rishyate virakti tivra atva nidanam ahuhu bhogyeshu dosha ikshanam eva santaha. Kakasya Vishtavata Asakshya Buddhi. Kaka means crow. Vishta means it's a feces. It's it's a drops, droppings. Asakshya means uh, uh, you, 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 you don't want to uh, tol you don't tolerate. Intolerable. Okay. It's like uh, see nowadays uh, with with this uh, electronic media, People have entered your uh, home and they are stealing it from your computers and your laptops and your cell phones. Earlier, there was this uh, set of uh, cheaters uh, who used to stay in uh, front of a bank or front of a railway station and all. And they target you. They'll say, sir, something is there. They'll spit something on your or throw something on your back. And somebody, some other person will say, sir, there is something on your back and your shirt. Then you, you are not a... Uh, robo to turn your head to the other side so you will be trying to look at what it is so it will be very difficult so below sir below 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 and you will re remove two three buttons of your shirt and try to see still not visible so you will keep your back and uh, you will remove your shirt you will see this and you will clean it while you clean that uh, this fellow will clean your back he will take it away Think, sir. You, why do you want to clean if it is okay? If if you are if you are drying your cloth and the crow and uh, comes and uh, drops its uh, droppings and what what will you do? You will immediately clean it because uh, you cannot tolerate that smell and that that idea. You will not will not have it where it is a badge kind of. See, yesterday I had this crow dropping. You won't show it. Uh. See, even the scientists uh, who research on this, uh, they don't do it with joy. Maybe they want to understand something out of it, but. For us, it is something which is intolerable. Oh, how can you just wash it off first? That kind of asakya buddhi, that kind of intolerance you have to be have with this kind of uh, objects. We will see this. Om Purnamada Purnamadam Purnat Purnamadachate Purnasya Purnamada Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti Shanti Shanti